Welcome or welcome back at C-Square. In this um, video clip, I will show you how to construct the angle bisector. So first of all, let's have an angle. And if you remember, an angle is formed by two rays. So I'm going to have this ray here. Let's say this is point A and another ray. this one okay and now we have an angle we're going to construct the angle by sector for that reason i'm going to use the compass and you see i open the compass and i'm going to draw two arcs one one arc here and another one here I'm going to mark these two points just to be sure we can see them. Okay, now keep the compass the same way, or you can change it, but I will say keep it the same way and draw two more arcs. Like this. And you notice these two arcs intersect in this point here. Now I'm going to take the straight edge and I'm done with this construction. This is what we call an angle bisector. That means this big angle is cut into congruent pieces. Let's have uh, some names. But first of all, uh, one more thing I'm, I'm going to draw here. I'm going to draw the distance, the segments, the distance from this point to uh, the sides of the angle and, and uh, I'm going to use the straight edge okay that those are the distance and Let's take a look what's going on here. Why did I do that? Because now I want to see if these two segments are congruent. And you notice this is how long this segment is. This one is the same. Yeah, these two segments are congruent. Why? Because every single point on this angle bisector is equidistant from the sides of the uh, angle. That is a property of that comes with the angle bisector. Now, let me write some geometry here. Let's name this point B and this point C. So, first of all, let's see what an angle bisector means. It means that angle, and let's call this one point D, right? Angle B A D congruent with angle CAD. You see, I mark them in the picture. They are congruent because this angle bisector cut the big angle in half. I can write a very similar statement. The measure of angle BAD equal the measure of angle CAD. And this measure of these two angles are half of the measure of the original angle BAC. This geometric relationship will help you to write algebraic equation in most of the cases. Uh, so that's the first property of the angle bisector I mentioned. And now I said equidistant, right? This is a key word. Any point on this angle bisector is equidistant from the side of the angle. So what I meant, BD congruent to DC. That's a property of the angle bisector. Of course, you can say the measure, the length of BD, is the same of the length of DC. And that's it about an angle bisector. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back at C-Square for more help. Thank you.